Now, one of the footnotes to Theresa May's very short Brexit bill, which is being debated again in Parliament today, referred to a thing called Euratom. Hardly a household word, but it's the treaty, a very important treaty, which goes back to 1957, which underpins the international bits, international collaboration behind our civil nuclear power programme. The bill gives the government the right to get out of Euratom, a likelihood that has the nuclear industry in a bit of a spin. Tom Greatrex is the chief executive of the Nuclear Industry Association. I spoke to him earlier and began by asking him to explain just what Euratom is. Euratom is a treaty with EU members. Switzerland are also outside the EU and an associate member, and it does four things essentially. One is it enables a single market of nuclear goods and services within the EU. Secondly, it's a framework for a lot of international agreements, which happen including between the UK and the US. Thirdly, it enables the funding for fusion research, which happens at Cullum in Oxfordshire. And I suppose the fourth thing is the international safeguards. Safeguard inspections is done through Euratom. Now that we've seen the Brexit bill, are we definitely going to withdraw from Euratom? Well, what the bill says is it gives the Prime Minister the power, or the government the power, to withdraw. It doesn't make it clear when that will happen. And it's not absolutely clear that it would need to happen on exactly the same time as you leave the EU. So even if we leave the EU in just over two years' time, it's possible that we may stay in Euratom for longer. And we think it's important that we do, because there are a whole range of different agreements which exist under the Euratom framework. And to replicate all of those, as the government said they want to maintain the same standards, we think was probably going to take a bit longer than the two years. The issue for the government, though, is that the European Court of Justice, or other European courts, have jurisdiction over the Euratom agreement. So it's European control, isn't it? That's the issue. Yes, the European Court of Justice has jurisdiction over the agreement in Euratom. So what happens if we withdraw from Euratom? Can we go ahead with all the civil nuclear programs that we have at the moment? It depends on how quickly and in what way other things are put in place as to what's replicated because as in lots of other sectors I'm sure we'll find there are a whole range of agreements that will need to be replicated to enable things to continue. In nuclear that's done through Euratom. It's got more profile because it's a separate treaty which existed before the UK joined the EEC as it then was but we need to make sure those transitional arrangements are in place to ensure that new build decommissioning, ongoing maintenance, all of that activity, that it can happen seamlessly. What about, for example, Hinkley Point, which is the most advanced of the new reactors? That's a French design being built largely by a French company. Could it go ahead if we didn't have Euratom or something like it in place? It's under construction now, so over the period of the next couple of years, things will continue to progress. I think the important thing is the transitional arrangements and then the successor arrangements need to be in place to ensure that there isn't going to be any disruption to that. And that's something which the government have said they're committed to doing. I think the only sensible way of doing that is for the government to commit to us retaining our Euratom membership until those ar- arrangements are in place. But that's an argument that the hard Brexiteers will not want to hear. This is about ensuring that the UK is able to continue with its energy policy and ensure we have a reliable, secure, low carbon based load for our energy, that which we need with a number of power stations that are going offline by 2030. So if we don't have a successor agreement in place by the time we leave, and if we did leave in a hard fashion, I just got out of all these treaties, it would be a threat to our our energy policy a threat to keeping the lights on really? What it would be a threat to is the ongoing work that happens in nuclear and decommissioning and new build across the piece because a lot of activity rests on the inspection that happens through Euratom so we need to have those conditions replicated before we leave the Euratom Treaty that's the most important thing. That was Tom Greatrix, the Chief Executive of the Nuclear Industry Association. Now what damage 